Fort, which you can see behind me, this beautiful palace, and they've got amazing views of the city of Jodhpur down below, which you can see there. And it's all blue because it's actually the blue city. <laughs> of so many goodies. We've got nuts, Doritos, half-eaten half samosas, loads of water, a chill box full of drinks and a watermelon which I've already got tucked into um, and then this wicked little do not disturb sign which if you leave that on your bedside then you can have a nap and they won't come and wake you up. Is having a turban put on. It's actually a nine metre piece of fabric. How are you feeling there Charlie? Very good. Wrapped up. <laughs>
Hey guys, now this is the ultimate room tour I have ever, ever done. Let me show you around the Maharani suite here at Umaid Bhavan. First things first, this is just the entrance and the corridor for your room. These flowers get changed every single day, just because, just because you can. So let's go to the room. start in this beautiful living room. We've got one seating area here, we've got yet another seating area here. The room is filled with sweets and chocolates and yummy things to eat. Next up we have this incredible dining room with seating for 10 people. Behind the statue here is the kitchen where all the um, staff create amazing meals which you can eat from the, direct from the restaurants here which are some of the best restaurants in India. This is incredible. We've got a love seat hanging there, a little swing. There's all kinds of different seats, incredible views of the garden. A little sunbathing area over there. Here we are, the bedroom, the Maharani suite. Quite a few celebrities have stayed here. We've had, well, Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas got married quite recently, as well as Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, and then hundreds and hundreds of royal family and dig dignitaries from all over the world. Now this room is a touch. It's the massage parlor. <laughs> Check out these beds. There's like a rose, um, marigold petal foot bath for before you have your massages, and you can have a couple of massages as well. This room is all about love, and it's a real kind of beautiful honeymoon suite. This is the walk-in wardrobe. I have never seen such a huge wardrobe. When you're wearing a holiday, do you really need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen wardrobes? That is one serious packing. <laughs> but then actually, when you're in this room, you have a butler who packs everything for you anyway. This is the master bathroom. There's one of the guests over there as well. Now, this marble bath is actually created from one slab of marble. It was created for the original queen who, who lived here, but um, it's just spectacular. And in here we've got this amazing hot tub jacuzzi. So as if the marble slab bath wasn't enough, we also need a hot tub. And this hot tub has a view out to the garden. So, you might be asking, how much is this room going to set you back? Do you know what? For the absolute humongous size of it, <laughs> I was going to say it's not too bad. It depends what your budget is. It's £17,000 per night. Yeah, that's right. One, seven. £17,000 per night. And it is incredible. I love this room. When can I check in, please? <laughs> So we're just about to leave and the amazing guys at Umed Bhavan have got me a little present. Check this out. Look at the box for a start. But look at this. That's real princess jewels. I'm going to try it on. Yay, it fits. <laughs> Thank you, so lovely. I am so sad to leave this hotel. It has been the most amazing experience. They literally, from the minute we walked in, made us feel like a king and queen, which kind of makes sense because the real king and queen live here. Um, but I absolutely love this hotel and I...